well, you have scamming that you do by lotteries, scamming that you do by Instagram, scamming that you do by selling houses, cars, you know, a lot of scamming. Money is a thing where draws anybody attention or willing for go feed, you know what I mean? So when you can take up the phone and tell a person, say, I'm winning a prize, and him have a PR fee, that says a lot. The game is fun as long as you're collecting and moving smart, you know what I mean? It means like the modern days, Robin Hood. Yeah, I steal from the people who have it and don't have no use for it. And I have people in my community who have more than use for it. Yeah, so we just take and give. And today was one of them lucky days there, where lucky, you know? So far, this is a hundred grand. Scamming is just for solve the problem, not a lifestyle and not a career. Because not even my kids me know how to do it. I am already the father, so you don't know the father have to take care of everything. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do until I leave here. I have been in scamming for like quite a while now. First time I started when I was 17 years old. And from then on now, you know, I'm 32 right now. Yeah, it's going strong, see me, you know? I'm not pre like other scammers where scam money and buy gun and all of them things. I'm not do them type of style, you know? Yeah, I choose to help the people in need, you know? Because it's a joy if you see a mother can pass and her belly full, and, you know? A old person can pass and him can, a medication can get filled, you know what I mean? So, I'm not influencing a gun and ammunition. That, my money not going at that. My money going at the party and helping the people. Have you ever felt guilty after a successful day? Well, guilt. Mm. At times, at times, I feel guilty. But when I look at the amount of hours when I have to sit down and on the phone for really convince a person for really send me the money, I pray it as success more than guilt, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, because sometimes me even turn around the same money and pay other people overseas them bills the same way. So at times me don't leave them stranded, you know what I mean? I don't leave them to stress about the small stuff. I cover that for them. You spoke earlier about not wanting your children to do what you do. Do they know what you do? Well, yes, they do at times. They see me working, you know? They hear the voice. They hear the voice and they hear the type of accent and the conversations that goes on in the office. Could you demonstrate a little of that voice? All right. Um, as for example, there is a popular entity in the lottery company that's you have mega millions and you have publishers clearing house. But as for an example, if I should call a particular person, I would use a tone of voice of American accent. Like, hi, I'm calling you from the publisher's clearing house. My name is Mr. Howie Gujar, and I'm calling you on behalf of your prize winning. How are you feeling today? And the person would reply, and then I'll be like, okay, uh, do you know the reason for this phone call today? And the person would be like, no. So I will be like, you have won for yourself $2.5 million and $750,000 in cash, okay? However, the company is already taking care of 99% of the fees and charges, okay? So there is a 1% pending for you to take care of that, all right? So they'll be all excited, all worked up, knowing that in their old stage, they have won something that many people have tried to win because if you go there on the official PCH page, you would see a lot of persons commenting that I've been playing it for years and never won anything. Some people saying that the official PCH, PCH is a scam because other people win it and they don't get to win it because to how long they've been playing it. So how the scam really works 
we target random people and if we lucky to catch up on one of those random people then that becomes our target so you don't target a specific age group that's a random person all right we target a person when we got them hooked as you know an example if we find them interested in whatever we're doing all right so that's how they buy into any form of information that we have and um, we have also documents um, winners documents and approvals that we normally send to them and um, all of that they'll be excited to see all of that paperwork from a legitimate entity. Have you ever been close to getting caught? Have you ever experienced that? Getting caught for scamming? Yeah. Uh, no, I never try to get close to getting caught. I never try to lead on any suspicions to getting caught because I'm one of the most sophisticated type of um, phone user, I would call it. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I hide my VPN so I can't be tracked. I'm always in a different country or state. So that for one, you can never find me. And I always have a voice changer on my phone whenever I make a call. What was your childhood like? Oh, uh, don't know. We never have a perfect childhood. I don't know. Grew up in the ghetto, Tea Valley Garden originated yeah never peaches and cream so you don't know wasn't one of them child where could have said daddy buy that for me or more on that for my christmas and get that so you don't know me growing up as a youth now me i say when we get my youth them my youth them can't go through them type of lifestyle by any means and ways so I forget the funds me i forget it but me wasn't one of the person who prefer for go rob and thief or go the other way, you know what I mean? But choose to do scamming, but not by force, but you don't know. We just see it as a means of fast money. What have you gained and lost because of scamming? Okay, well, first, let me talk about the loss, because it's a constant reminder of what not to do when you have the money. Well, as you know, in the past, you have scammers who floss, burn money. Who can burn the most money? Who can spend the most? Who can tip the most in a party? Who can the money pull up the most? Or who can buy the, the dearest vehicle or the fastest bike? Those are things that we used to do. So my last, we did lose a several bedroom house, apartment, two vehicles that's a Mercedes and a Benz, and seven million dollars in a cash for the day inside in my house, you know what I mean? How did that happen? Well, we have a couple of friends after the collecting, you know, come over and them say, well, them feel like they're going to buy something new and just have a party for the evening. And I say, all right, do anything, my soul circle. And before you know it, early the next morning, I never sleep the night with them. So I leave them at work up all night, same way. And I get to understand. On my way up, I notice the police flood this, the yard and everything. So I say, I stay back in the bush. And I never go up there. So I realize that the police take up all of the money I did in the house. They find laptop damage because they drive nail to the laptop and all kind of evidence try to get flushed down until it, it reached to a point of money even try to swallow paper. So I mean, you know, them get catch while me still out here and try to do the right thing same way. Lay low, change up my stats and all of that. Some of you ever scared that they'd wrap you in? Well, as I say, my stats change up, so I not really I do nothing in the public eye view for them really. Care down a scope on me like that, you know what I mean? I can't take a police here come lock me down in a cell and I can't get for spend the millions on my make. Joke thing that. You see me? But that be a fuck up example to my son them because guess what I go on now. My son them would have say he 
daddy make the money and then go to jail. I can't make my son them see that. My son them office say money make. I'm there. I spend it. You see me? Yeah. And beautiful as part of it when you can buy anything that you want. Because you see any man in my wake up. I'm a can pull my son them requests. Or I feel like say I want to eat beef or steak to their lobster tail and I can't eat it. I have to take up the phone. Somebody have to feel it. Somebody have to pay for that, you see me? I say it go at the end of the day. Even at the animal kingdom, you know, the fittest of the fittest shall survive. And the weakest one them get whiff out, you see me? So me and one of them predators they were prey upon the weaklings them or prey upon the one them are available. You see me? So me and one of them scammer they were build my kingdom from the ground up. And as simple as you see me, and I'm a slippers, I'm a, I'm a full block. I see me, me roll anytime you see me. See me, I say, no hype in the back of it. Cause I guess I'll go on. At one time we can't live, you know, so we just live for the moment.